Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going to talk about fuel injection electrical actuation uh, diagnostics using the wiring diagram. Now on screen, as you can see, this is the wiring diagram. Uh, that we are going to use it belongs to a 2013 uh, f uh, to 2018 Ford Escape 1.6 um, engine um, uh, and this is the actual control module uh, so you can see the control module is the one that uh, um, actually uh, you know act to, uh, the ECM is the one that act actuates the engine for those of you that are not uh, automotive technicians uh, in this particular diagram uh, it is color coded uh, and it's interactive uh, so in blue as you can see that's uh, the actual ECM uh, the engine engine control module and it's uh, all over because we split it what it is is that in diagrams it is split into multiple uh, um, um, it looks like multiple module but it's not it's only one module it is just split for for sake of our brevity uh, uh, cl uh, clarity uh, it is split into multiple uh, uh, components. Uh, this is just part of the uh, 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 of, of the way that diagrams are made. So anyhow, by using the uh, the um, keyboard uh, control keys, uh, control and plus or minus, we can actually, as you can see, zoom in and zoom out. <coughs> now we are now going into the uh, we're looking for the uh, fuel injectors okay I do know that uh, it's uh, the fuel injector it's on the middle on the middle di uh, blue uh, diagram okay let's, let's zoom in a little bit more okay and this is it right here okay so injectors this is injector 3 See if we could actually zoom it in properly because it's there you go now whenever you click on it it actually highlights so this is injector three injector two one and four okay and this is it says so right down here so it is uh, uh pins number 82 83 84 and 85 okay now let's follow uh, what we're going to do now is let's follow this is typical of doing uh, wiring diagram diagnostics let's follow them to wherever they go and they should go to the injector and these are the four injectors this is, this is a four cylinder engine one point uh, I think we said 1.6 1.9 whatever <clears throat> anyhow so as you can see pin number one is the one that's receiving uh, the injector trigger uh, and I want you to hold on hold on to that because it may not be a trigger okay However, uh, and uh, if you look carefully, okay, as soon as we go over, by the way, as soon as we go over, see, like right now, if we go over, it, it ho on highlights. So this is green and violet, okay? The other one is blue, this one here, this one is blue and orange, and this is yellow and blue. So each have different colors, okay? Now, uh, the issue is uh, on the other side, This and by the way, this particular... Uh, uh, um, uh, car had an issue with, with the injector not triggering okay so this is why we are actually doing uh, this particular diagnostics uh, I have to show you how to go about it uh, using the wiring diagram without it you really be lost you know because you don't know what's going on uh, so anyhow so well, let's go back into the the ACM <coughs> and right next to the ECM we have something called the injector return Injector 1 return, injector 2 return, injector 4 and injector 3 return. And let's go over here and see what this is all about. Okay, so we're going to go, remember we cannot go over the highlights because they don't highlight. So we're going to go, we're going to go and trigger the other one. And the other one. This one is giving me a hard time, so... Let's see. Okay. 
There you go. Because you really you have to zoom it to be able to highlight it. Anyhow, so now we hide what we did was highlight the other side of the injectors. Okay. <coughs> and sure enough, they are the return, the injector return. Okay. Now, uh, as you can see on screen, uh, we're going to show you um, uh, what this return is all about. Okay. And the, the return, as you can see on screen, it's a, um, it, it, it's how the injectors are triggered. Uh, so as you can see on screen, uh, the, the ECM has two lines going to the injector. The injector, uh, one trigger, and the, well, we're only going to explain one injector. It's, it's the same for all four of them. But they're separated. They're separate. And the injector return for, the, for, for one. Okay? Uh, and so... We're gonna go in, into this uh, the next this next slide here. This is a diagram, and basically what it is this is this is how it goes. Okay, so this is very important. Uh, the injector uh, is triggered. Uh, these type of injectors, by the way, these are direct injectors. Okay, we are going to explain the old fashioned and the new ones right now. Okay, and this is important. It's, it's almost the same, but it's not. Okay, so in the old-fashioned injectors, you had a, um, a, a power cable. Uh, this is the one in red, injector power, trigger feed wire. In the old injectors, um, multiple few injections, there's a lot of cars like that. Still, uh, it would be called injector power feed wire. Forget the trigger. It would not be triggered on the positive side. Uh, they all had 12 volts going to it. Okay, not anymore. Okay, so but it is what it is. We're just going to explain it for the for the purposes of understanding and reading wiring diagram. Now the other line is the injector return for the injector number one. Okay, this is an injector trigger ground wire. Forget the trigger. Um, well, in the old in the new injectors, they're both triggered. Both sides are triggered. So direct injectors are both but you know both sides are triggered. Okay. Uh, and in the old uh, uh, injectors, uh, multiple fuel, in fuel injection, uh, the injector trigger, the ground wire was the one that actually triggered, like, as you see on screen. Okay. Now, this is all nice and uh, everything is uh, beautiful and, 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 you know, whatever, you know. Uh, but the, the thing of it is that in, in modern cars, and we're talking 2008 and up, you know, when that's when they started using direct fuel injection. Uh, so basically what it is is that both sides are triggered and in this particular case as you can see on screen you're not going to have uh, a ground a, a, I mean, I mean a, a power feed uh, going 12 volts it is actually 55 volts 55 to 60 volts okay and the other side is going to be the actual also triggered but it's also it's going to be the ground triggered so you're going to have the 55 volts that's triggered Okay, and it is PWM controlled on modern cars, uh, and basically that, that it is what it is, you know. And so, uh, injector trigger, both sides triggered for um, for direct fuel injection. Okay, and um, if you have a problem with the old uh, multiple uh, multi port fuel injection with the ground, then what you would do is you would actually do. Remember the on the old multi port injection, they they are they are triggered on the ground side you would actually go over here and you would look at the ground uh ecms usually have multiple grounds okay uh now uh even the new ones uh, where where the injectors both sides are triggered uh, they are uh, nevertheless you know uh the ground is fed through multiple sides of the e uh, on the ecm and on this, uh, we're going to go back now to the to the wiring diagram. Okay, and basically what it is. Hold on, we uh, let me highlight this again. And basically what it is is that now we have the this is the return. Okay, so these 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 the, you know it's actually eight guys. Let's on high. Let me let me do this. Let me on highlight everybody. And this is just this, this injector one. Let's concentrate on one. And injector one return. Let me see uh, what is 
four three injector one return okay All right now let's go to the injector now this is the injector injector fuel injector number one over here um, and so if you want to test these injectors how would you go about it right well you would have to go uh, in this particular case uh, you put a multimeter so remember this injector is not triggering is it the ECM or is it in the, or is it the injector itself okay it's very nice to say oh well you know replace the injector yeah blah, blah, whatever it is not really because these injectors are hard to get to and the labor uh, for something like this is um, quite high okay so uh, basically find out what's wrong with it with the issue and then just go from there if you have one injector that's not being triggered uh, that's it is the ECM without a doubt but you have to find out so how do we do this okay so we're gonna go now and and Test the injector number one line. This is this is pin pin eighty four. Okay. Now this is not going to be the return line. This is not going to be the ground line. Forget about the fact that both of them are triggered. It's just that it is what it is. You know, you just have to test the power side. Uh, it's going to be PWM control, so you're going to see a, uh, uh, a a PWM signal uh, going uh, out of it. You know, um, and so. Uh, here you go. So what, what, what do we do now? Let's on highlight the other side. Let's just concentrate on the injector one signal. What do we do now? And by the way, of course we can connect a noise light in there. There are noise lights that are made for uh, direct injectors. Okay. These are remember 55, 60 volts. Okay. And they're made for that. They're made for high voltage. Okay. But however, you got to be careful because a, lo a lot of uh, um, Depending on you where you work at sometimes they don't even allow these things so that this high voltage and you know it, it, it could get a very big shock So you got to be careful Anyhow, but we are going to show you how to do this We you, what you do is you disconnect the injector All right, okay now remember this is the injector trigger wire on the positive side Okay, and you are going to go and measure it with the injector disconnected You are going to go and measure it with a multimeter and you are going to go and and trigger the uh i'm, I'm, I'm sorry crank the, the the car or with the car running already but you have to be careful though because a lot of these uh, ecms if they send something wrong with the injector it'll disable the injector the injector trigger okay so what you do is you would have to connect a dummy injector and this is what's what you have to do it, it is a uh, you actually f you can buy these things you know this is a dummy injector. What it is is a, only a resistor. You can make your one if you want. Make sure that you don't you uh, shield it properly. Otherwise, you could get shot. Okay. So and you connect a dummy injector, which mimics the resistance of this particular injector. All right, and that way you don't burn the, the computer. Because if if you don't have an issue with the computer, with the ECM, you're gonna burn it. You're gonna burn this thing if you connect too much uh, uh, too low of a resistor to it. Okay. I, I'm not going to go into the value of these resistors because they all change. Uh, they're, they're different, okay? But they're in the, in the neighborhood of uh, maybe 20 ohms, uh, even anywhere between tw 10 to 50 ohms. Uh, uh, again, uh, you have to go and buy the kit. It is a kit that, that you know, it brings a bunch of injectors and uh, it, with, with, it even has the connector to, you know, to it. So you actually disconnect the injector and, and plug in the dummy injector. Again, so what you want to do is, once you're connecting the dummy injector, you're going to reset, probably reset the code, okay? Erase the code, okay? And then start the engine. Remember, you're going to be running the engine without one injector, so but that's fine. Uh, it'll still run. And the, the engine, the computer is going to think that the injector is connected and everything is fine uh, because you, it actually thinks that it's, a, it's an injector. It's a, it mimics the injector. And what you do is you, with a multimeter, you probe... Uh, on the positive side, okay, in which is this yellow and blue wire, okay, once you probe into the positive side with a multimeter, uh, and so you're going to go multimeter and ground, okay, that's what you're going to do, or you could even go with a test light, but be careful, it has to be a test light meant for 50 to 60 volts, all right, otherwise you could burn, you know, you could, you could, you could, you could get shot, and this is what you do, so you go from the yellow-blue, um, let me see if we could, we could actually go, 
and we do a little bit you know zoom it even more so you could see the the not the uh the color values in there okay let's do it even more than that okay there you go the yellow and blue all right uh and ground remember so remember this is uh this is supposed to be power feed but it's also pwm controlled okay so you're going to go yellow and blue and ground uh and you're also going to do uh now the other side but it's going to be in reverse the other side is going to be connected to power because the other side is power it's also pwm control so in other words this is power i'm sorry this power with this goes yellow blue and ground okay and the other side is going to be green and blue and power and then uh but here we go it's not really power because it's 50 volts so anyhow, so the other side, the green and blue voltage, you're going to go uh, between uh, green and blue voltage and power. Uh, but remember that this is a, uh, it's a 50 to 55 volt to 60 volt injector. Okay. So they already sell um, this type of power supplies. Okay. Which provide 50 volts uh, and you use it to test uh, not only the injector, uh, the um, electronic fuel injection the solenoid, the, the pump, the pump solenoid uh, on top of the fuel rail also runs on 55 volts, sometimes on 28 volts or whatever. Uh, but this is a power supply, little power supply that actually, that, that uh, you're going to have to make it. You're going to have to deal with it, you know. Uh, otherwise, you know, the uh, because this right here, what it is, it is possible to uh, connect it to... In other words, because remember, this the other side is giving you, and let's go back, the other side is giving you a return, a ground. So you could definitely use 12 volts. Uh, but the problem is that as soon as you do that, the ECM is going to sense a problem with the voltage and disable the injector. So it's not going to trigger anymore. It's going to throw you off. And you're going to go and replace the ECM for nothing. So this is why... You have to stick to whatever the ECM has, and it's not easy, you know. It's not easy to test these injectors. So that's why a lot of shops, what they do is they, re they go, they do a lot of work, a lot of labor. Uh, they replace the injector, and then, and then nothing, nothing. It's the same deal. So you replace the injector, and, and that's it. There's nothing you could do, okay, um, because it doesn't work. That's not the repair. So this is the proper way to actually diagnose a bad uh, direct injector if it's the old type of fashion with the old way of injector i'm sure you get the the point that right now that you pretty much go from uh, you know you test from uh, the lead you know the injector lead to ground and or the injector lead to power one side is going to be pulsing ground the other one is just going to be grab power you know <coughs> now this is important uh in this particular uh, the direct injectors uh because uh, again, as soon as you change and test with something else other than 55 volts, the ECM is going to sense it, and that's it, you know. And here it's a um, these are these are the direct injectors. This is what it looks like. Uh, in other words, this particular interactive wiring diagram has uh, this particular feature. They are expensive. We produce them. They are expensive, but. Uh, it is what it is, you know, and it also has videos. Uh, fuel is see? A up providing a measured amount of fuel to the engine. It also has simple videos so that you have, at least you have an idea of how to go. And everybody else, if this is uh, like a knock sensor over here, it also has a uh, a photograph of this particular knock sensor, and it also has a video. Uh, anyhow, so again, we uh, pretty much expose you to how to test these injectors. These are PWM controlled injectors, both sides, the ECM senses and it and doesn't want you to mess with the, uh, uh, with whatever you're doing. So you, if you go on and test, you may get away with testing with a test light in this particular, this is the ground side, right? So you could connect the other side of the test light to power and then probe here with the test light and you may see a pulsating um, uh, PWM control. Uh, again, and uh, but, but if it sees uh, the 12, 12 volts, you, it, it may give you, may disable the injector. 
But the other way to do it, the last way to do it, is to actually go in with an oscilloscope. Connect the dummy load, dummy injector in there, and go in with an oscilloscope to both lines. And then look at it, and then look at your injector pulse. Okay? Once you see that, then that is the best way to do it. Uh, because you don't have to, but we're, we're showing you how to do stuff, you know, in case you don't have an oscilloscope or you don't know how to use one. And by the way, we have an entire series on using the oscilloscope on our channel here on, on YouTube, uh, ADP training, okay? So, uh, it doesn't get any better than this, guys. You know, we explain to you how to go about it. Uh, again, if you um, want to use the oscilloscope to, 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 to check the injector pulsation, uh, which is the best way to do it, uh, make sure that you you view our videos on testing uh, injector pulse uh, for direct injectors. We'd like to thank you for tuning into our channel ADP Training. Go to our website autodiagnosticsandpublishing.com where you have access to all our our items, um, uh, di uh, um, schematic di diagrams, uh, books, uh, DVDs, uh, software. Uh, e diagnostic equipment that we actually produce so we design and manufacture these uh, diagnostic electronic equipment for testing uh, we also if you subscribe to our website uh, we you, you can get free stuff we also provide here and there we provide free stuff once we give out the free stuff don't wait don't just hold on you know uh, leave the email on reserve and try and download the software because the software only lasts you know a week or two and that's it then it goes out okay because i mean why would we be, just just do it you know just do it the download as soon as possible anyhow and then uh, also we appreciate you tuning into our channel uh please subscribe like our um, our video uh we need the, the stuff otherwise you know youtube uh the algorithm looks at that uh, you know and that's how we get paid uh not much the other the other way to for us to get paid is for, for you to help us out so we do accept donations right through this channel. Uh, if not, go into this description, and it actually you can actually donate using um, a pay like PayPal, you know, uh, or use the channel itself, and you just uh, become a member of this channel, this YouTube channel, for like five bucks a month, you know, something like that. Whatever you can afford, and this really helps us out. So again, uh, thank you for tuning in to our channel, ADP Training, and thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.